Hello, I'm Rob Nylinger with Nylinger Enterprises, and today we have our good friend Kevin coming in, and Kevin's one of our investors. Kevin has invested in some of our flips in the past as an actual partner. Kevin has invested in some of our flips, just making interest on our flips. Uh, Kevin's also loaned us money to buy rentals in the short term for one to three years. Um, and he's gotten anywhere from seven to eight percent from us on those deals. And Kevin's also invested in a 146 unit apartment complex we recently did. So he's invested in all kinds of avenues and I just wanted you to hear from him on how his experience has been with us. And I'll just ask him some questions. You can learn a little bit about Kevin. And if you would like to do some of the things that Kevin's doing, just go ahead and reach out to me or message me or I'll put an email and a phone number you can also reach out to. You'll probably touch base with my brother Mike. and. If, if you would like to get involved, if you'd like to get on our newsletter, if you'd like to communicate with us and learn about how you can be a part of what we're doing, just go ahead and reach out. Hey everyone, I'm, I'm Rob Nylinger and I'm here with uh, my buddy Kevin. We met, we met Kevin a few years, I don't know how many years ago did we oh meet? Oh my gosh, we have to go back at least 10 years. Has it been 10 at years At least already? 10, when your brother Mike joined my Rotary Club. And it was about that era, so I think it was like in the probably around 20, 2008 or ten, even something like that. Maybe, maybe yeah, around maybe ten, eight to ten years. Yeah, ago. about that. Mm -hmm. um, so I think we did you did you partner on we early on we partnered on some flips, right? We did some of that. We right? did. Yep, more than one. More than one. Oh yeah, many. More than one. I would say at least eight. Okay. <laughs> did we least, did we ever least, lose money on a flip? I never lost money on a flip. <laughs> <laughs> never lost a, money if you don't flip. if you don't lose investors money that's a good sign that's a, i've lost money other ways but i never lost it on a flip awesome <laughs> so and then so we kind of changed our model we couldn't we don't partner as much you know with the flips because the the profit margins have gone less we've gone more to partnering with interest r interest rates and stuff interest like rates, that yes and you've done you've done a few of those lately uh, not a ton i don't think not a lot probably did more flips in the other mode than, yeah. than i've done on the interest side but on the interest side I've probably done Four. Okay. I would and say you, four. And you finance some rentals that we bought too, right? That I do. Do you have any right now with us? No. Okay. Not, not right now. Okay. okay. Do we have any money of yours right now? You it in uh, in uh, Slippery Rock we did. Slippery Rock. So okay, that's another that's another avenue that you put money is. Right. So we bought a 146 unit in Slippery Rock, and he was one of our passive investors that, mm -hmm. that went into that deal. So yes. we we appreciate that, and um, mm -hmm. I can tell you that the the projects that we take investor money take priority over my deals. Oh, that's good Every, to know. Just so you know. <laughs> I, I stress more about your deals than I do mine. Yeah, that's well, thank you. Okay, that's good to know. Because that's a yeah. priority. Sure. It yeah. always has been. So mm -hmm. I care, you know, you can ask my project man property managers and everybody, we're always more focused on that. And I can yeah. say we've never lost any investor's money on any uh, flip we've done or anything like that. No, I've been very happy. Back when you look at rates of return, if the flip will be inside of a year, or not a full 12 months, but if you annualize the rate of return on the flips, it was very good. It was very good uh, investment. We never cut, if we said we were splitting the profits, we split the profits. We yeah. didn't We didn't like say, okay, we're gonna take a little extra profit. We always gave you gave it what it was. We, it was truth in lending. We Whatever the agreement was, we, we did. lived up to it. <laughs> um, so so the, the communication from our staff was always good too on all this stuff? Oh yeah, yeah. You, you know, you deal with Mike or Kim or- Kim, primarily on most of the, all the like, agreements and signing and stuff like that. Yeah. Kim was typically my go-to person, yeah. finalized stuff. And she was easy to deal with. Cut the check for me, you know, that kind of, kind of thing. And you got your checks quickly after closings yeah. or whatnot, so. Yeah, okay. We were doing it so often, I actually set up a, uh, a transfer from my bank to yours. <laughs> so I could, just, I could just transfer the funds you know, without writing a check, physically writing a check. Okay. Uh, now on the, on the return side, I would get a physical check, but uh, sending money to you, I, it was simpler. Because sometimes you needed it like quickly or under certain conditions. Yep. So it's always easier to do the electronic transfer that way. So you would uh, recommend us to other people, right? Uh, no, I want to keep it all to myself. <laughs> no, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, of I course. Can I, I can understand that. <laughs> um, we, we're, always, we're always looking for deals and putting, putting people's money with those deals, and we've put a lot of our own money in our own deals. So mm -hmm. um, I can tell you that you know, our relationship with you may, maybe have helped you, but I can mm -hmm. tell you it's catapulted us into being better and bigger, and I, I can't tell you how much we appreciate you. Oh, that's good to know. Uh, can I tell a little story as yes, to why I, I got love, involved I love, in this? I love stories. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, Rob's brother Mike was a member of my Rotary Club, and in that club, people have an opportunity to talk about their own uh, occupation. 
and, uh, and we're always interested to know our own, our own membership, what they do, not just our guest speakers that come in. So um, Mike got up and he talked about what, what the real estate market was like in our area, in our community, and how you could take a house that's not been well maintained maybe and get it for a pretty good price and then turn it around, put some money into it, and then turn it into a real beautiful home. And uh, in fact, in the early days, in the first one or two houses I invested, I physically went out to take a look at the house and went, it, went to go see it at various stages. But I said to myself, here's what I said to myself. I said, and the reason why I got I invested, I mean, it's nice to make a profit, but the real reason to do this is to make your community better. When you can take a house that is starting to become depressed, it starts to depress the neighborhood, and it starts to push real estate prices down, and that's not good, a good thing for anybody. And when somebody comes in to improve the community, make a house better than it was before, that lifts all boats. And consequently, that was my motivation initially, okay, to get involved uh, with this. That's good. And we've done we've right. we've brought up the values of yeah. a lot of these. Oh yeah, I, would, I mean, I saw a before and after type of thing. When you look at the befores and afters, it's amazing. It's just truly amazing what you can do with your subcontractors to come in and you know gut the kitchen and then put all new carpet down and all new hardware and windows and whatever it's going to do to bring that house back up to uh, a house that you would be proud to live in, uh, then um, it's worth the investment in the community to get involved. And not in only does like it, you know, you're, we're buying from local suppliers. There's, there's probably, when you flip a house between 50 and 100 people, they get mm -hmm. positively affected. Local realtors make money. I mean, mm -hmm. the title companies make money. Yeah. The construction, the subcontractors. Absolutely, absolutely. So, I mean, it's a good thing all the way around. Because, you know, you look, it's one thing, and I like to invest, uh, clearly, in, in, in various markets. But uh, when you're, you're doing something that's really far away or from XYZ Corporation and buy some stock and whatever, you know, and a, on a global scale, you don't see, you don't really see that money come back to your community. You really just, it kind of goes off into the netherworld and then, you see a return on the investment, but you don't have anything physically to show for it. But when, I, when you live in your own community and you see your community improving as a result of what you're investing in, as a result of the effort and hard labor of other people. I didn't think people, about that. That's, that's, that's really good. Yeah, so you get to see a positive, a positive aspect of your investment, and it's, uh, it's, it becomes part of you physically in your area. So not only, yeah, you've helped us, but you've helped everyone that works for us and everyone mm -hmm. that's associated with us. And, sure. and it's, it touches a lot of people now that I've never thought about it from, mm -hmm. from that point of view. Yeah, that's how I felt about it. And that's why I feel good about doing it. So you're retired. So you were in the military too, right? Yeah, you could tell, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell, I was, tell us I was, what you did. I was 30 years in the Army. Um, I was in communications, the Army Signal Corps. And I did, uh, for the most part, had three assignments over in Europe or about a total of seven years there mostly up and down the East Coast, Washington, D.C., or the Military Academy I taught there, and I was down in Washington, or Fort Gordon, Georgia. And uh, basically, I was in charge of communications, uh, internet services, some electronics research and development. So um, it's kind of far removed from invent the investment world. But on the other hand, you know, anybody in the service is still free to, even when they're on active duty, although I've been retired for t over 22 years now, um, you're still, you know, freely uh, capable of and permitted to invest in the stock market or any other kind of instrument. Okay. So there's no restriction there. So. And you have referred us to somebody, even though you want mm -hmm. to keep us for yourself. You referred us to your friend <laughs> Harry, who. Yeah, who's Harry. Uh, yep. I, I He's a little that. bit more of a stickler than you, for sure. Harry's a very smart guy. So if Harry's doing it, you can probably feel pretty good about doing it too. He's really a sharp individual. He's a financial guy uh, by training, by occupation. Uh, retired now, but he looks at all the. You can the, tell the Harry, I'll teeth. buy him out of Waynesboro if he ever wants his money back. I'll just buy him out of it. <laughs> yeah, I would too. But uh, I met him a long time ago for other under other auspices, and uh, he's become a very good friend of mine. But uh, but I rely on him for a lot of a lot of things. Turned in terms of investing, I'll say, Hey, Harry, what do you think about this? And if if Harry gives you a green light, yeah. you can pretty, be pretty confident. Okay. I don't always get my green light. I don't always call them about an investment. In fact, you know, lately, we might have one going on right now. I'm not going to say, Harry, what do you think? You know, okay. I mean, I, I've had a long track record with you yes. uh, that I don't have to depend upon him. If I was, but if I was going out to some other place like I have with Harry, okay. another location, uh, I'll talk to him first. Nice. Well, 
We appreciate you. For, I mean, I know Mike and Kim are here today. They're they're at the beach. Oh my goodness! Okay. But no. uh, <laughs> we really, really appreciate you and everything that you've done for us because it's a two-way street. So, mm -hmm. and I hope we can continue to doing some stuff together and and onward and upward. So, be my pleasure. Appreciate Thanks you coming in. Okay.